Hello lovely people! My name's Andy Woolley and in this video we're going to do another follow-up writing uh, exercise using the AI tool Article Forge. We're going to get down and dirty straight into it, we're going to write an article for one of the clients, give them something that's plagiarism free and we're going to also do this against the clock. So not that it's a rush but to give you an idea of how quickly you can come up with something that meets the intent and writes roughly around about 600 to 900 words for that particular article. So let's jump over onto the screen. I've got the timer there set ready and let's press start. And hopefully we're going to do this within about 30 minutes. So you can see it doesn't take forever in a day. Um, I'm going to look at writing the best probiotics for women's health. But a general subject by all accounts. But we've got our modifier in there. We've got our keyword probiotics for women's health. That's ideally what we're after. So we're going to use that as our premise. If I shrink that down a minute, keep the timer there on screen. Uh, now we're going to use a selection of tools in order to define the intent and then also give us an idea of how we're going to push all this then into Article Forge. I use something called usetopics.com. They're free resource on there which they've got here, which is the um, people also ask. I'm logged in. If you're logged in, you can export this as well, which is a great facility. Simply putting it in there will give us a selection of questions. So to answer your question, why am I using this? Well, yes, we can do our keyword research and we'll have keywords and phrases come back, but sometimes they don't really draw a conclusion to you of the type of article you can write. Whereas using a modifier and a selection of keywords, be it a phrase, this will come back with a relevant uh, a range of topics or categories and subcategories for me to go away and write this particular article. So it takes about a minute um, for it to come back. And then when it does, you'll see here, it starts populating the screen with the, the category and then the subcategories. And what we're going to do here, on our Word document, if I just shrink this Word document down, just shrink it down to the side, or better, better still, I'll keep my Word document as is, and let's use the notepad. That way then I can customise that to the size of one. I only need it for the topics and I can co copy them across then as I need to. So we're looking for the best probiotics for women. Uh, what is the most effective probiotic? Let's see if it makes specific reference to women. And the easiest way to do that, let me, whoop, let me just move this out the way a minute is if we do control F and we type in women, you can see there's a number of references on the page. There's three references there. And where is it referencing? One, two, three. So this is the only one that's coming up with it. Are probiotics good for women's health? That's not bad. That's a good question. What are the dangers? Right. So we're going to take that copy. Let's paste that into our document here. What we're looking for is we've got our title. We're looking for subcategories that reinforce the intent and reinforce the topic we're talking about because that will draw relevancy and then we'll put them in the right sort of order. So uh, who should not take? No, no. I'm just going to speed through this to see what's really relevant. Side effects? No. Oh, here we are. What's the best probiotic for a woman? That's not bad. What's the most affected? Right, I can't quite like that. Again, copy, paste. Is it slightly different to the the first question? Are probiotics good for women's health? Uh, I'm just going to change that to woman, in case they well, there's a lot more references there. So it's a quicker. It's just a quicker way for me to identify what we're looking at on screen. What's the best probiotic for women? That's a repeat of it. And a repeat there again, which is quite good because it shows you the intent is quite strong there. What, what are probiotics good for in women? Should every woman take a probiotic? Now, that's a nice one. I quite like that one as well. Because again, it warrants asking and answering that question. So again, let's put that in there. And all I need is about four or five. That's more than plenty to write a, a small but relevant article that keeps it on point. And that's an important aspect to remember. Uh, what are probiotics good for in women? Again, that's a repeat, but I don't like that phraseology, to be honest. So we've got that. Let's do best and see if anything comes up. The 16 references. 
which is the best probiotic in the market. Yes, okay, that would be good if we were looking for taking this way more from an informational article to make it more of a buyer's guide where we're actually then putting a product at the end of that equation and allowing someone to purchase it. You can see that here was the best probiotic in 2021. Well, we could change that was the best probiotic for women, women's health in 2021. That would be, again, bang on the money. What's the best probiotic for women? What's the best probiotic brand for vaginal health? No, we're not going to use that because, that, again, that's a, it, it's relevant, but it's going off on a tangent, and I don't want that. What's the best feminine probiotic? Okay, that's a play on words, but is that so similar to a question we're already asking? What's the best probiotic for women? It is. So it's kind of redundant because we're repeating ourselves. Which probiotic is best for my digestive issues? Okay, that could be quite good. Okay. Um, yes, okay. We can make one from the titles here. Um, what are the best probiotics for women's digestion? Because obviously that's all part and parcel of the, uh, the probiotics for the guts, everything that's related. So that's not too bad um what's the number one probiotic healthiest probiotic to take uh I, I think we've probably got enough there to be honest i don't think there's the the other way that we can do this as well is we could simply take our title this and we could also just run it into chrome into google just to have a quick look and see what that comes back with as well just in case there's anything else we could probably add into the mix and what we're looking for is we're looking for the page titles to see if anything jumps out so you can see there best probiotics for women well we've got that by doing the women's health we've got that a little bit more of a uh, permutation going on best probiotic ever. what's the healthiest probiotic in the market okay that's not too bad oh uh, probiotics good for women's health no i do like that because that asks it in a different way and therefore we can answer it in a different way and that's kind of what we're trying to achieve here um what is the highest rated no 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 if we scroll all the way down to the bottom we get related topics like uti urinary tract infection we're not looking at all the ph balance gut health best probiotics for gut health best probiotics for women's gut health it's a bit elongated but we've already got that well, I tell you what, we will actually change it for women's digestion. No, for women's gut health. I prefer that because I know gut health is a little bit more prevalent in this particular niche. Best probiotic for bloating. No, again, we're going off into health conditions and we can do that separate. You know, I think we, we're good there. Right, so I'm going to close that down. Um, open the topic back up. Have a look at this. Are we going to keep it in that order? That's what I'm going to say. So we're introducing, um, obviously, what are the best probiotics? So what are probiotics? I think would be a good one. What are probiotics? How are they relevant for a woman? Which I think is another good topic. Are probiotics good for women's health? Are they relevant for it? That's kind of the same thing. So delete that because that gives us the benefits. What is the best probiotic for a woman? OK, should every woman take a probiotic? Yes, that needs to come down to the bottom. Kind of like should every woman, our probiotic is good for her, should every woman therefore take them? That's quite good. What are the best probiotics for women's gut health? I'm going to delete that. I don't think we need it now because we're talking general enough by here. Our probiotics good for women's health. We've already got that. So we've got four. What are probiotics? Are probiotics good for women's health? Should every woman take probiotics? What's the best probiotic for a woman? Yeah, um, I think that's it. I think that's all that we need. So we'll copy that. We obviously will have it in our Word document. So I'm just going to pop it into the Word document. So we've got a structure there. And the last one then will be our final thoughts. Okay. Ooh. Final thoughts. Uh, right. Okay. So I'm happy with that. Let's pop over then into Article Forge and we'll start a new article. Our key phrases I'm going to put there. Copy in the main phrase then as well, which is best probiotics for women's health. Copy that one and back in. Uh, oh, whoop. Pop that down, it's probably easier. 
uh, put that in there. That is our enter the keyword, okay, which is probiotics for women's health. Okay. Um, tips, no, we're all right with that, happy with that. We've got the main ones in there, which are probiotics, women's, women's in there as well, women's health. Yeah, everything that's really relevant is in there. We want to do a reasonably long article, at least 750 words. Uh, add titles, yes, please. And that's it. And we just press create. So it's taken us about 10 minutes just to, you know, get, get everything organized, get ourselves uh, set up, define the intent, make sure there's a relation between the intent and now start that running. And as you can see, it's starting to work through. But let's not waste time. We now go over to where I can get an image. And obviously you may not have a paid account like I have here. You might have um, Pixabay or Pexels if you've got a free one. But I'm going to look for probiotics for women. And let's see what comes up. Dreams Time is a great one. I'll leave a link in the description below for this. So, yeah, you can tell this is a female here. There's a choice between them, obviously holding one or the other. So I think that kind of meets the intent, to be honest. Um, and I quite like this image. So we will pull that, pull that down. And you can see the pills with probiotics on the background of a female abdomen. They want that's perfect. So I'm going to copy that. So when I download this now, that will be the description of the image. Um, I might just ever so slightly alter it to put in the keyword, which is obviously the women's health. Uh, let me just scroll this across. Oh, my Word document doesn't want to come across. There it is. Uh, right. Trying to do this all on screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So you can literally follow suit if need be. So pills with probiotics on the background of the female abdomen. All right, we'll leave it as that. I'm happy with that. That's the image. Right, let's jump over into Article Forge. That's not far off now. So we've got our image. I'm not going to upload this to WordPress. I'm literally just going to do it in the Word document and then I'll load it in the back end. And once that's done, then I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product. OK, so as you can see here now, it's finished. The results are there. If I click this now, the article becomes transparent for us. Probiotics for women, what are they and how do they work? That's not a bad title by all accounts. If the very least, it could be my H2 uh, heading underneath. And here we are. So I'm just going to pull this all out. Just copy, come over into Word, and I'm just going to put this all under here so I can work on it and then see how it goes. Uh, let me just shrink that down. It should get down to something a bit more manageable so we can see what we're doing. So what are probiotics for women's health? A lot of research has been done over the years to answer this question. The conclusion is that there is definitely some benefit to a regular use of probiotics for women's health. Probiotics are generally regarded as life supporting bacteria as they help. Yeah, this is pretty good. It's on, on the money. I like it. And um, again, there's our next heading, what are probiotics? So it did listen to our first one, so we can knock that off. Probiotics generally a group of strains of bacterial bacteria that usually create, yeah, okay, that's fine. Happy with that. So what does this mean for to have good vaginal health? Funny if you can see how strong that is. And whilst I wasn't looking to get that tangent from what we're doing, it clearly is relevant. So we'll keep that in there. It's obviously repeated the next one. So we'll, we'll customize that because I don't like subheadings that are exactly the same, but we have a choice here. So we'll read the article and we'll see how we can make it appear, you know, a little bit different to answer the question to give a bit of choice. Uh, what are probiotics for women? Yeah, OK, we exactly have that one. So I can delete that one. What are probiotics for women? Yeah, perfect. And in particular, right, OK. And what are probiotics for men and women? Okay, is there a differentiation here and the rhyme and reason for having that in there? So like when there's certain particularly good at fighting, therefore if you suffer in particular, uh, then like psilli and right, what are probiotics? No, no, I actually feel that none of that answers the intent at all. You know, if it was stating that there was something clearly different between the probiotics for women as opposed to men, and therefore there's a stronger rhyme and reason to take it, I'd be inclined to keep it, but there's none. So I'm going to delete that out. What are probiotics for women's health? What are, uh, have we repeated that at all? 
No, we haven't. So what are probiotics for women's health? Our probiotics, yeah, it's similar. I'm going to go with that one. Happy days. And right, okay. And in order to get any something that's important, right. So we're currently standing at 610 words. That's fine. I'm, I'm happy with that. Not a problem. Um, I obviously need the final thoughts at the end. So I'm going to type something in there based on reading through this. And I'm going to speed through that, not to obviously take your time up. Uh, but I'll leave the clock on so you know this is all being done in genuine real time. Okay, so you can see now we're coming up 26 minutes or 27 minutes. Um, I'm happy. I rearranged the order. I've deleted a bit, added in a bit, typed a bit. But here's the order. So best probiotics for women. Women. We obviously for women's health. Sorry. We op open with a mission statement here. How they're relevant. And then we describe what probiotics are. How do probiotics work? What probiotics are specifically for women? Uh, I will list some out here. So I've got a little bit of a listicle to do, and we'll do that now in a minute. Um, how they're beneficial, beneficial for good vaginal health. I put that back in because there was an opening statement that referred to this quite uh, quite uh, strongly. So I thought, yeah, OK, so there's double reference in there. It does make sense then. And then should every woman, so obviously you're coming towards more the intent now of whether somebody should or shouldn't. Um, obviously, I, I, you know, I'm not professionally trained as a clinician or practitioner or doctor or any of these sort of things, but I know the benefits of them. So obviously I advise that it is probably more beneficial to take it or not. And then I just sum it up with some final thoughts. We're 807 words as we stand there. We'll probably come in around about the 850. The time I finish the um, listing, a few of the most popular ones on the market. And the easiest way to do that is simply go back onto Chrome. Uh, where we had it here, best probiotics for women. Don't need to put women's health specifically, but for women. And here I have a choice. So I have um, raw product, pro, raw probiotics on there, garden life on there, health span. So I'm going to list a few of these, just literally bullet point, and then we are done. So I'm going to leave this run for the moment. Uh, but the article has been written in 30 minutes. It needs a bit of polishing. As you can see, I need to optimize this for mobile. So shorter sentences. I'll bring it into the back end of WordPress, put the individual titles, the hierarchy, H1s, H2, any H3s. Um, I'll also put a table of contents in there, the image that we've got, and I'll polish it off. So I'll let this run for the moment, and then I will show you the finished uh, we'll speed up and I'll show you the finished article. We're now working through the items just to see uh, the layout's correct. Happy with the items on there. I'm adding also in the listicles of the particular women's probiotics. It's now been added into the back end of WordPress where I've done my uh, spell check. I've optimized it by making shorter sentences ready so it's more appealing for mobile. And working through the listicle, as you can see on screen here, by adding in links to the particular products to give it a rhyme and reason, more importantly, a call to action on this particular article that it answers the intent of finding the best probiotics for women's health. Here we are now, the finished article at the 46 minute mark. We've got our fe featured image. Uh, we have our headings, our table of contents. Each one of those nicely laid out, nothing too excessive. Obviously, what took a little bit of time is putting the individual links in there. Again, I could probably open this up a little bit more and put images in there for the respective ones as well. And that would probably, you know, make it a little bit more appealing. But <clears throat> for the sake of this um, video, we are just demonstrating that you can write quite a sizable post in there. That's 46 minutes. If we have a look, we use SEO Minion. This will tell us how many words so we've just written just shy of a thousand words there in uh in half an hour but obviously editing it and optimizing it it's taken us 45 minutes per se you know give or take so yeah quite happy with that 
Uh, that's how easy it is. Article Forge, in fairness, has done the heavy lifting there. Uh, if I just shrink back down, you can see there's the, the article in Word. I don't keep those, to be honest, because I go through these so many. That's Article Forge. Great little tool. Easy to take the snippets here and customize it. But that was simply based on one phrase and then how that got customized from the particular titles, which we use by also using use topics as well. So there we are. That's it for this um, Article Forge review. AI, it's a great little tool. It's not too expensive. Uh, I think it's about $57 a month unless you've got the yearly plan you pay up front. Then it comes down to a, a very ridiculous price of $27 a month. Uh, and that's unlimited. You can write as many articles as you want. Plagiarism free. I'll leave a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link. So I appreciate that, you know, if you do go through that, I will get a small commission from it. But I only practice why I preach, as you've seen in this video, I'm genuinely producing articles which I'm putting across not only my clients' websites, but also my own portfolio websites as well. Um, hope you like the style of these videos. If you do, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, click that notification button as well. So as soon as another video comes out, I can give you a heads up and you can see the wealth of AI tools I'm using because I'm slowly testing them to find which is the, you know, the long term uh, selection for me. It won't be one. It'll probably have to be a handful. Um, that's it for this video. If you've got any questions, pop them below. Likewise, see you soon. That's me signing out. Thank you.